Miroslav Klose can be called the best signing Iglitare ever made. The German arrives at Lazio on the 9th June of 2011 on a free transfer, thanks to Luis van Gaal, who inexplicably relegates the German on the bench in Bayern Munich, almost always. Klose arrives in the capital with a desire to revenge, to prove to everyone that he is not yet finished, and immediately he succeeds. Already in his debut, he scores, both in the Europe League and in Serie A, against Milan. Miro Klose is perhaps not as fresh as some years before, but gives Lazio goals and experience. Miro finished the first year with Lazio with 12 goals, but the fans will remember him above all for the goal he scored in the last second in the derby, bringing Lazio back to win the match against Roma. The Giallorossi will become one of his favourite teams, as the German will often score at the derby. Klose is included in the list of 50 for the Golden Ball, but will not win it. The following year, Klose starts well, scored against against Roma, but got hurt in January and was out for a long time. He returned to the field at the end of the season, where he scored five goals against Bologna, a sixth win for Lazio. But above all, he plays in the Italian Coppa final against Roma. Klose doesn't score. Lulic thinks about it, but it helps Lazio to win in a final that will go down in history. Klose is the example for everyone, always the first to start training, always the last to leave the pitch. Once during a training season with the Primavera, while all the other boys have already left the field, Klose stops, collects all the ball and brings them back to the locker room. The German is a champion outside and inside the field, a silent leader but above all a winner. Klose has won so much in the past and knows what they need to be done to win and brings that mentality to Lazio. With him, the team win the Italian Cup and qualifies for the Champions League, only the second time with Lotito. Miro Klose will also win the World Cup, becoming the player to have scored more goals in the final phase of the World Cup. Even if Klose is not at his best, because often he has to live with pain at the back and various problems, Miro Klose is always important in tough matches. He scored against Milan, Inter, Roma and Napoli. Klose proved to be a champion, even if the years go by. With Stefano Pioli on the bench of Lazio, Klose began to play less. The Lazio manager often preferred Djokovic to him. The German does not protest and keep training as usual. The following year, Lazio struggle and Inzaghi arrives on the bench. Lotito, surprisingly, decides not to renew the contract to Klose. The fans do not like that decision and neither does the German, who decide to quit football. Lazio fans give him the last greeting. Lazio, after the time of Cragnotti, was able to admire two champions. Again.